Hippopotamus and rhinoceros are both large, herbivorous mammals native to Africa. Although they have some similarities, they also have many differences. Hippopotamus, which is indigenous to the rivers and lakes of sub-Saharan Africa. They are one of the largest land mammals, with males weighing up to 1.5 tons and females weighing up to 1.3 tons. Hippos are semi-aquatic animals and spend most of their time in water, where they are perfect for swimming and diving. They have legs and nostrils that can close underwater, allowing them to stay submerged for long periods of time. They are able to regulate their body temperature by radiating heat through their skin, which helps them stay cool in the hot African climate. Despite their massive appearance, hippos are agile and can run at speeds of up to 20 miles per hour on land. The rhinoceros is another large, herbivorous mammal in Africa. There are five species of rhinoceros, three of which are native to Africa, black rhinoceros, white rhinoceros, and southern white rhinoceros, and two are native to Asia, Indian rhinoceros and Javan rhinoceros. Rhinos are known for their distinctive horns, which are made of keratin and can grow up to several feet in length. They have a thick, armored skin that protects them from predators, and they are generally less aggressive than hippos. However, they are still large, powerful animals and can be dangerous if agitated. Rhinos are generally less aquatic than hippos and prefer to live in grasslands, savannas, and forests. They are herbivores and eat a wide variety of plants including grasses, leaves, stems, and fruits. In terms of physical appearance, rhinos are generally larger and more massive than hippos, with males weighing up to 4 tons and females weighing up to 3 tons. They have a more elongated body shape and long, thick legs, which help them support their weight and move more efficiently on land. Overall, both hippos and rhinos are impressive, majestic animals that play an important role in Africa's ecosystems. Although they have some similarities, they have many differences, including their size, behavior, habitat preferences, and physical characteristics. Hippos are social animals and live in groups known as schools or pods, which can consist of up to 30 individuals. Within these groups, there is a hierarchical structure, where dominant males hold territories and mate with multiple females. Females give birth to a calf about eight months after conception. The calf stays with its mother for the first year of its life, during which it will nurture and learn important survival skills. After about a year, the calf is weaned and becomes independent, although it may continue to associate with its mother for several more years. Rhinos, on the other hand, are generally solitary animals, although they can form small groups with other individuals of the same species. They have a more complex social structure than hippos, where both males and females hold territories and maintain relationships with other individuals. Females give birth to a calf approximately 16 months after conception. The calf stays with its mother for several years, during which it will learn important survival skills and grow to its full size. In terms of conservation, both hippos and rhinos are considered vulnerable or endangered. Due to loss of habitat and poaching for their meat and tusks such as ivory, both hippos and rhinos play important roles in African ecosystems, and conservation efforts are focused on protecting their habitats and reducing the threats they face. These include habitat destruction, combating poaching and efforts to improve the relationship between humans and these huge, majestic animals. Hippos and rhinos have played important cultural and symbolic roles in Africa for centuries. In many African cultures, these animals are revered for their strength and power, and they are often depicted in art, literature, and folklore. The hippo, in particular, has a strong cultural significance in many African societies. In many African cultures, they are seen as symbols of fertility and childbearing, and are often associated with water, an important resource in many parts of the continent. In ancient Egypt, the hippopotamus was revered as a sacred animal and depicted in art and literature as a symbol of strength and power.